Excel accounting practice problem, accounts payable, and subsidiary ledger. Get ready, because we're about to Excel. Here we are in our prior presentation. In prior presentations, we built this worksheet from a blank worksheet. Now we're going to be using it to record transactions. We're recording the beginning balance transactions here. We have two tabs on down below, example and practice. Example tab, in essence, being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. Last time, or in prior presentations, we put on the inventory, then the accounts receivable. Now we're looking at that accounts payable, imagining we had some prior accounting system or some accounts that we needed to put on the books for the beginning balances as of the first day of the current year. We're going to be working in January 1st, we are imagining, or as of basically the end of the prior year, these are those accounts. We're picking and choosing those that are going to be the more complicated type of accounts, those that need a subsidiary ledger, such as, at this point, the accounts payable. So we're going to be working on the accounts payable. We're entering these balances one at a time. The other side then go into some kind of equity account, which will kind of wash out at the end of the day. This being a similar process that we would see in a lot of accounting software you're, when you're going through this process. And it allows us then to create the subsidiary ledger as we build this accounts payable representing people that we owe money to for goods and services we have received in the past therefore it needing a subsidiary ledger that's breaking out by vendor who we owe the money to so i'm going to go back on over so let's go back on over here going to go to the practice this will look a lot like the receivable but now on the payable side so the journal entry is going to be straightforward it's going to be one one on the journal entry same as of the beginning of the period now here we're going to say it's a liability so it's going to go up with a credit so i might want to put that on the bottom because that's traditional to do put the credit on the bottom we're going to say that it's going up as we can see here by that fifteen thousand. so i'm going to put the credit of a negative fifteen thousand. The debit is going to be negative of that number or a debit or positive number of the 15,000. It's going to go to, as all other kind of beginning balances have thus far, to the equity account so that we can keep this in balance as we go. We're going to then be indenting this alignment indent, noting that we're not having anything going to any income statement accounts here because we're just setting up the beginning balances, which should be just basically the balance sheet accounts. And so let's go ahead and post this. I'll post the equity. So here's the equity account, double clicking on it, going to the end of it and saying plus, and then pointing to that 15,000, it's gonna decrease the equity, put us out of balance here. Then we're going to the accounts payable. Accounts payable is right here. It's gonna be a liability account. Gonna say equals and point to that 15,000. It's gonna go up in the credit direction to that 15,000. We can also point that or post this to the general ledger, same kind of activity here. And notice it's kind of redundant for us to post it to the general ledger, you might be saying, but remember, we're doing this so that we can see the impact directly here, the debits and credits and how they work in terms of the double entry accounting system. And then posting again to the GL, because normally you'd post to the GL and then create the trial balance from the general ledger. So let's do that now. We're going to say this is going to go on to the equity, which is going to be the last GL we set up. It's the blue one, assets, liabilities, equity down here before we get to the sub ledger. Now we're down here on cell AA1911. We're in cell AB19 equals left on over till we hit the wall and going up to that 15,000 on the debit side. That's going to give us, if we see our running balance, we started at zero, went up in the credit direction by the 2896, and then we increased it again by the 20,005 to the 23,396, decreasing it by the 15 to the 8,396. That is the amount that should be on the trial balance as it is here. I believe that's the same number out of balance up top till we record the other side in the GL or general ledger. This is going to be the first liability account the accounts payable so it's assets and then liabilities there we have it we're going to be in cell w5 one one we're now in cell x5 we're going to say equals left to the wall and we're going to pick up that accounts payable of the 15,000, increasing it in the credit direction the cell is too skinny the cell is too skinny i'm going to widen the cells so if, it, if the cells are too skinny you're going to have to widen them up there i might widen them all uh, later so they'll be a little bit wider on your worksheet so there we have that and that's going to then put us back in balance on the general ledger 
Now, we also need to know this by a subsidiary ledger. If you're dealing with accounting software like a QuickBooks or something, oftentimes it won't let you post to the accounts payable account unless you assign a vendor. And so we're going to, and, and it does that to say, hey, look, you, I want to be able to generate reports for you that are going to be by vendor to give you that subsidiary ledger. Otherwise, this a, a number is kind of meaningless <laughs> because you don't know how to pay it in the future. So we're going to set up a sub ledger in a similar way as we did with the accounts receivable. So I'd like to kind of copy the style of these 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 ledgers, or maybe maybe I can copy the style of these the sub ledger, and then I'll change the color. So I'm going to take I'm going to grab this stuff. I'm going to grab from the skinny all the way over to AK, and I'm just going to copy it. We're going to copy that. Right click and copy right click and copy doesn't want to right click sometimes my right click is stubborn when i'm recording and then i'm going to right click and paste i think my computer's slow but that's okay that's okay i'm kind of slow too so we're going to then paste it right here we're going to insert insert the copied cells so there we have it and now we'll just now we'll just adjust this for the payable so this isn't ar this is going to be ap and then we'll delete these beginning balances get rid of those and it needs to be not green but it needs to be it needs to be orange i'm going to delete the names too these are not our vendors those are our customers and then i'm going to go on over here and say we're just going to grab some yellowness grab some yellow and put that on our paintbrush let's grab that yellow home tab put that on the paintbrush so when i brush the paintbrush on stuff yellow gets on it so if i brush my paintbrush right there the yellow stuff that was once on my paintbrush is now right there and i'm going to do it again i'm going to paintbrush it and do this one and paintbrush it this one and paintbrush i should have been a painter i have skills i have skills that are mad i'm totally calm but i got mad skills it's not easy sometimes anyways so then up top, we're going to say that we want then the vendor. I think it's going to be Epiphone. Epiphone. And I'm just going to say that we have that one vendor for Epiphone, which is going to be negative 15,000. And so that's the one vendor. It's too skinny. It's too skinny. You got to make it. Okay, so there we go. So there we go. So now we got that one vendor and these these other ones, I'm, I'm just going to have that one vendor at this point in time. I'm just going to leave these on the books right now. So when I have other stuff happening in the accounts payable, I can go over here and adjust it. So then here, I would like to say this is my check number. So I'm going to say this is equal to then this 15. Hold on a sec. This is too skinny. This is too skinny. This is too skinny. Okay. So now I'm going to say this is equal to that 15,000 minus the amount that's on the balance sheet. And that'll give me my check figure. Check. It's green. Check. Is that check figure green? It is. Check. Roger that. It's green. Okay, so then that's going to match out. So if I tie th this adds up to my four vendors. So that looks good. So now we've got the sub ledger the accounts payable on the books let's add it now we're starting to get some substance over here in our trial balance so next time we'll start to construct this trial balance into our financial statements balance sheet and income statement and see how that can be constructed in essence as we go as we start and continue to add accounts